Hi, this is Coach Tony Morgan, and today's bar what we're looking at is a Glowworm Micron 50 FF. You can see on the front of the bar it's got flashing lights, if you can see that. So if you see these lights flashing like that, the reset flashing faster than the burner. On light, that means it's a fan or air pressure switch problem. Okay, Michael, we're going to turn the power off here. So the bar's gone off, you get your Phillips screwdriver. You might need a stop ladders. We're in the garage at the moment. Quite cold on a Saturday morning. So the other thing you need to be wary of about awareness yeah. if you look you've got the, the ladder so that case is going to come off so we don't want to be hitting the ladder yeah. anyway you got if you let me see if you can yeah take these screws off and that once you take this second screw off this plate will come off along with this. Okay. What we're going to do next, actually, let's turn the power back on. If you go to that thermostat knob and turn it right round to the off position, that resets it. That's it. And turn it back round again. That's a fan running. Mm -hmm. You should hear it like that's it lit up now. We'll just just have to monitor it for a bit. On some of these particular situations, this is what you have to do. Sometimes you have to stand back and monitor the situation, and just analyse what's going on. It might take five, ten minutes to see what's going to unfold. Just got to be patient. Yeah? Yeah. Got any questions you want to ask? Mm -hmm. What about three guys who've been to this boiler already? What did the customer say? Customer said that um, he thinks it was um, a blockage and he was trying to take us up to the cylinder up the stair, but um, we just we just said no, we're going to see the boiler first and start with our basics uh, checks. That's right. And see they're getting involved in thinking. Um, what the customer thinks, we would just need to take it right back to the beginning and um, find out what the the lights were flashing, phone technical and start for the very basics. Yep, that's it. Like the other engineers that came said that starting at zero, the basic step, they went right up the stairs up to the cylinder and started at step eight. Said that starting at the beginning instead of getting overwhelmed and done the basic checks first and then um, proceeded from there. That's it, absolutely right. That's what I'm trying to show you guys. You start from the basics, step back, don't get overwhelmed, just go through the basics and then go from one, two, three upwards till you get to ten if you need to. Right, we've now come into the house, we're inside, they've got a Gladil boiler mate. Anyway, what I've done, I've just pressed on the PCB and I'm just checking the store temperature, which you can see flashing at 68 and just seeing if that's increasing. Once that gets up a bit more, you should be able to get hot water quite reasonably. 
and central heating. A few people have been looking at this boiler and just turned away when they've seen what's involved. It's quite complicated. You've got three pumps. Which are here. One's for hot water. This is a hot water one. It pumps into this hot water heat exchanger. Works like a combi. This one is a primary pump. That pump between the boiler downstairs, what you see in the glow worm, and this cylinder. So that's a primary pump, so it heats this cylinder really, like a thermal store. And the other pump is for the central heating going around the radiators. So you've got like three circuits within this one unit, making it very complicated. That's why a lot of engineers run away. And this is why the massive engineer, I can deal with this job. Though it is challenging. It's also got immersion heater. This is like a backup to heat this thermal store if the gas boiler breaks down. So you can switch on using this mode switch here. So you flick that onto um, that switch there and then it'll energize this immersion heater. So that's it, a bit of a little tour on this boiler mate A class. So we're back at the boiler, it's still going. Um, Michael, you had a question about the air pressure switch. Yeah, so it's, can, is, is there any way we can test the air pressure switch? Well, we can't really test it um, so much, but what happens when it's like the fans running now, boilers on, everything's all good. When it gets up to temperature, say on this thermostat here and it turns off again the boiler, mm -hmm. fan stops, the air pressure switch and goes to rest and then the boiler wants to start back up again. Fan runs but sometimes that air pressure switch might not make when the fan runs and if it doesn't make then it'll throw up this cold what's been happening and that's where the intermittent problem is but we can't really test it. So it's working as fine as, as it is. I'll have to order the part and come back and fit a new air pressure switch. So that's going to be the end of this video on this particular fault. If you've got any comments or questions, I'd like to hear from you. And we'll see you on the next video.